A fitting send-off for the skipper. Paul Miller playing his last match for the Dogs and what a way to go out. Oh, sensational. It was a, felt like a long five years. We had a few cracks at it, but it was worth the wait. And they didn't have to wait long to find early points. A Ray Lang penalty opened the scoring minute into the match. Bulldogs dominated early possession, but when Narromine finally made it inside the visitors' half, they showed wide there the defending premiers, sending it through the hands for Doug Potter to swan dive over the line. <laughs> Bathurst reclaimed the lead minutes later when Phil Tonkin scored from a quick tap. Just as the Gorillas found their feet, Lang intercepted a straight pass and sprinted down the left flank. Four phases later and hooker Alex Wheel went blind and crashed over to lead 13-7. Luke James extended the visitors' lead when he bursted onto a nice short ball under the sticks. Bulldogs up 20-10 at half-time. Narromine peppered their opponent's line early in the second half and that pressure finally paid off when Luke Harding put the home side within five. But that's as close as they'd get. Tonkin weaved his way through some tight defence to bag his double and make it 27-15. Narromine threw everything they had but the Bathurst defence held strong. Uh, congratulations to the Bathurst guys, like, they did what we wanted to do to them, they shut us down pretty early and um, you know, they, their defence was strong all day. In his first year at the helm, the win was extra special for Murray Hooper. 2010 Premiers, it's got a good ring to it. It's got a great ring to it, you know, five years after the last one, and we'll go back to Bathurst and we'll let the town celebrate. Tom Mitchell in Narromine, Prime News.